It's time for another Disneyland Character Dining Review. Breakfast with Minnie and Friends at the Plaza Inn. Hello, this is Jason, and in this video I'm going to tell you about our experience at the Plaza Inn. The Plaza Inn is a restaurant located inside Disneyland Park on Main Street, USA and has been a mainstay since it opened as the Red Wagon Inn in 1955. Its amazing Victorian-era decor is truly a sight to behold, so it's no wonder it was one of Walt Disney's favorite restaurants. And we have breakfast, lunch, dinner. During lunch and dinner, the Plaza Inn is a quick service restaurant. However, breakfast is a character dining experience, therefore reservations are highly recommended. This review is mostly based on our visit in August of 2017. However, we had breakfast there back in 2013 as well, and both experiences will factor into an overall rating. Some of the characters we saw were different this time around, as they do vary and you're really only guaranteed to see Minnie Mouse. Keep this in mind if you go, as your experience can be much different to ours. Our reservation was for 10 a.m., and we immediately ran into a line of other hungry, eager families. After check-in, we waited a few minutes to get a professional photo with Minnie Mouse, who greets you outside under some much welcome shade. Even though there was a line, they still took the time to get multiple photos. If you have the photo pass, these photos can be added to your collection with the scan of your card. Otherwise, they will bring the photos to your table during your meal for consideration of purchase. We requested a table indoors due to the heat, and were seated inside to the right of the buffet along the front windows. Other tables were positioned between ours and the main pathway, making it difficult for the characters to get close to our table. This meant whenever a character came to greet us, we had to walk past other tables and patrons to get to them. While this is an issue limited to only a few tables, it wasn't an issue at all at Goofy's Kitchen as the table layout there felt less cramped. Back in 2013, there was a steady stream of characters coming to the table, spending quality time with our considerably large party of 10. There were also a few more characters in 2013 than in 2017, with the tally coming in at 11 versus 9. A matter of contention in 2017 was that, despite having been seated for a considerable amount of time, only a couple characters had visited us. This wasn't completely unexpected, however, as upon researching customer experiences with character dining, it was not uncommon to find that others had encountered this situation before. We had read that if you kindly and respectfully mention the lack of characters in your area to your server or to another cast member, chances are that characters will show up within a few minutes. We put this suggestion into action, and lo and behold, three characters appeared in the area like magic, to the delight of many. However, in turn, this made everything feel a bit rushed, as characters ended up standing there waiting as you greeted the others. But at least they tried. I have to say the customer service is always amazing at any Disney location, and that's one reason why Disney has such a good reputation. When it comes to the food, I don't have much to say. I mean, it was okay. We weren't really there for the food and didn't expect too much, but what we ate was satisfactory. In fact, due to fear of missing out, we didn't make a whole lot of trips to the buffet in case a character came around. This was especially true in 2013, as we were seated outside away from the buffet. You can check out the Plaza Inn's menu on Disneyland's official website, linked below. You'll find most of the standard breakfast buffet items. Eggs, bacon and sausages, French toast, cereal, baked goods and fruit, and don't forget the Mickey waffles. I did like the made-to-order omelets and of course the bacon. At one point I got a plate of just bacon because that thin crispy style bacon is hard to come by in Australia where we live. We enjoyed our experiences at the Plaza Inn. 
our first visit was better overall due to the excellent character interaction, even though the heat was annoying. Of course, it was mostly the opposite in 2017. Feeling cramped, rushed, and having to leave the table multiple times made the character interaction less fun. But at least we weren't in the heat. I highly recommend asking for a table inside, at least during the summer. At either trip, the food wasn't amazing, but it wasn't bad by any means. At the very least, it was hot and fresh. However, I wouldn't suggest going there for breakfast unless you wanted the character dining experience. As for counter service, we returned later in our trip for lunch to share the much raved about fried chicken. All the reviews we've read and watched on YouTube had talked it up as the best fried chicken in Disneyland, hands down. And while it was good, it didn't strike me as extraordinary. But I would recommend it nonetheless. The three pieces of chicken plus sides is good value, especially considering it's enough to share. Again, the price of the breakfast buffet isn't worth it just for the food, unless maybe you eat a metric ton. But it's good for kids and adults looking to spend more time with some characters. It's not out of the question for us ever returning there, but there are lots of other dining options at the Disneyland Resort that we haven't tried yet, so the Plaza Inn is not likely to be on our list for our next trip to Anaheim. If you could only do one character meal, I would recommend dinner at Goofy's Kitchen over breakfast at the Plaza Inn. This comes at a higher price, however, so it's up to you and your wallet to decide here. We haven't tried breakfast at Goofy's, but that's another option to consider. If we had to rate both visits to the Plaza Inn individually, our experience in 2013 would be a four and a half out of five. Whereas, we'd give our most recent experience in 2017 a 3 out of 5. I'm going to be a bit forgiving in the final score due to the fact that we had such a good time in 2013. That was our first character dining experience and we were blown away at how many characters there were and how much attention they gave us. So perhaps we were a bit spoiled, but 2013 proved how good the Plaza Inn can be. The overall score comes in at 4 out of 5. I highly recommend it.